So this is where I keep all my finishing products, glues, um, wet stuff, kind of, uh, rags and that sort of thing, lubricants. It's under here. Let me show you. I guess I got to do something about this. I started off by roughly measuring the area where I was going to put the cabinet and organizing all the stuff that's going to go into it so I could get a sense of the height and depth of each of the shelves that I wanted. Then it was off to cut the back out of half inch ply, which I used to do all the layout of the plans. There are two fins on either side made of three quarter inch ply and three shelves spanning between them, which are half inch ply. These are the two three quarter inch thick fins. I'm pulling the dimensions for these directly off of the layout lines that I put on the back. The shelves are different depths, so I shaped the fins to keep from there being too much extra material in the way while still providing as much support as I needed. The fins are attached to the back with glue and screws. Because they have an awkward shape, a clamp's useful to hold them in place while a couple of brad nails go in, then pre-drilling and finally screwing them into place. The unit's held on the wall with a half-inch thick French cleat. In addition to the two beveled pieces that compose the cleat, we also need a bumper at the bottom to keep the cabinet from swinging on the cleat. The bumper's glued on to the bottom edge and will double as a backing to screw the bottom shelf into, the bottom shelf being the biggest and therefore needing the most support. Gluing the cleat on here, this one screw is going to be important later. It's there to hold the position so I can flip the unit over and add a few more screws from the other side, which are there to act as clamps while the glue sets up. There are three shelves. The bottom is eight inches deep and the top two are six. <clears throat> they all have pocket holes on the sides to hold them to the fins and the bottom shelf has some extra pocket holes in the back because it's going to be holding heavier stuff. And then putting the shelves in place is just gluing and screwing into the pocket holes for the bottom shelf and repeating the process of gluing and screwing the pocket holes in the middle shelf and throwing a weight on there to let it set up for a little while. I'm removing those screws that I had used to clamp on the French cleat and if you remember that one screw in the middle that I left there, that was important. <sighs> Shit ass. And then it's back to gluing the top shelf in and screwing it into place. I have two studs to put my French cleat into. I kind of want a little more than that. So I'm going to put some drywall anchors in, in addition. Uh, the studs I located with holes, so the drywall anchors I'm just going to locate with some taps. This is my new finishing cabinet in the dark corner of my shop. I'm gonna load it up with stuff now. Well, this is great. It took me like no time at all. I'm super happy to have my stuff organized. I have a big space over there now that I have a whole plan. I'm going to make a bank of drawers that are all really shallow. Another video, another day. This went really well. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. See you next time.